Have you ever wondered what Michael Jordan owns? Well, you're about to find out. Stupidly expensive things that Michael Jordan owns. Let's get into it. These are the top 10 stupidly expensive things Hope you're Michael Jordan owns. a blessed day, my friends. Shout out and to Rebound 10, for this video. What if I told you Jordan has a stupidly expensive addiction that's costing him hundreds of thousands What's of dollars? What's your addiction, Mike? What's See, your addiction? There's one thing Jordan loves a little too much. Cigars. In fact, during a 2017 interview with Cigar Aficionado, Jordan admitted that by 1993, smoking cigars had become a pregame ritual. And after retiring from the NBA, the man took his addiction to a whole new level. Cause these days, he ain't just smoking one or two cigars a day. I smoke six cigars a day. Man. What? And Michael, dog, my homie, the goat, why are you smoking six cigars a day? Okay, never mind, actually. You earned that. You and earned that. That's to all Jordan, right. his right, favorite smoke is called Partagus Lusitanius, which are worth anywhere from $14 to $24 per cigar. So if we assume he's been smoking six of these a day since retiring from the NBA, that means Jordan has spent between 550000 All right, Jordan. Remember when I said I wasn't about to roast you for that? What are you doing spending $940,000 on cigars for, my man? I get that you have the money, but like, homie, you could have done built like 18 churches with that thing, with that amount of money. Come on, man. And $940,000 on his cigar addiction alone. And that's a lot of money to just burn away. But Jordan dropped even more on number nine one of the most expensive car collections in NBA history. And it all began in 1984, when as a rookie, Jordan copped his very first sports car, a 1984 Chevrolet Corvette Ooh, Stingray. Dude, and after that taking this thing for a spin, lit. Jordan developed Son. a need for speed. So he went on a sports car shopping spree, buying three more Corvettes, three brand new Porsches, and five different Ferraris. Ridiculous. But believe it or not, crazy. there's one more whip in Jordan's garage that's worth more than every car in his entire collection. His ultra rare Ooh. 2010 Bugatti, Bugatti Veyron Sang Noir. Oh, that thing's clean, son. Andrew Tate With who? 1,000 horsepower, Andrew Tate 922 pound-feet of torque, and a top speed of 252 Ooh. miles per hour. This thing is that basically thing is one filthy, of a kind. Son. I mean, there's only 12 of these Sang Noirs in existence, making it worth $2.2 million. I don't and know if I'd be spending 2.2 on, a, on cars a Bugatti, though. Garage, I don't know. Jordan's entire collection is worth over $5.7 million. But let's be honest, man. Five mil is chump change to, to a billionaire anyway. like Jordan. Yeah, so let's talk real. about what he spends tens of millions on. Like number eight, a golf course so valuable, poor people aren't even allowed inside. What? Mike, you just lost a little bit of respect for me, dude. Come on. Like, you're not gonna let people that aren't rich in your clubhouse, my man? What's going on? Larry Bird wouldn't do that. All right? Yeah. See, back in 2019, Jordan was so tired of golfing with regular people that he figured, why not make his own country club? So he went out and bought 226 acres of land in Florida and designed the most stupidly expensive country club in America. Grove 23. And uh, this place features a 15,000 square foot clubhouse equipped with lounge areas, dining facilities, a drone delivery service that literally what? brings drinks to people. I mean, uh, the course even has personal cigar rollers on location. Yeah, someone rolls cigars for you, what you while you go. What even is uh, in a cigar? If this sounds like a place you'd want to go at. Don't get your hopes up, man, because Grove 23 is invite only per Michael Jordan's orders. And only the richest, most famous people in the world are allowed to golf here. I'm talking celebrities like Barack I'm gonna Obama, let you know right now, who's I one of only golf 80 there, people right. to have a Grove 23 membership. People, and owning this country club else, is man. not Especially cheap, those rich the value golfers, of Jordan's exclusive golf else. course comes out to $15 million. $15 million? Damn. At this That's point, crazy. it's pretty clear Jordan likes spending big on himself. But don't get it twisted. Jordan spends even bigger on his community. Because what he owns in number seven is literally saving people's lives. 
Okay, See, Jordan. back in 2019, Jordan was looking for a way to give back, back to his hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. And when he learned that thousands of families were struggling to afford health care, he decided to build two separate Michael Jordan family medical clinics. Facilities okay, that are equipped All with right. exam rooms, x-rays, and a physical therapy space. All designed to provide health care for low-income families. And these two clinics ended up costing Michael Jordan $3.5 million each. But right, as if this wasn't already generous enough, Jordan topped it just two years later, when in 2021, he announced he was spending another $10 million to build Ooh. two more medical facilities in Charlotte, bringing the total amount Jordan owns in health clinics to $17 million. Yeah, this man's out here dropping racks on hospitals. So inspirational. Yeah, that's Look, man, respectful. His that's respectful. are only gonna get crazier from here. Cause what Jordan bought in number six made sports history. And I'm not talking about basketball. See, when he was a kid, there was another sport that Jordan loved watching, NASCAR. In fact, what? Jordan loved who the sport NASCAR? so much Is that in 2020, watch that he decided still? to take his fandom to a whole new level, teaming up with racing legend Denny Hamlin to create his very own NASCAR team. 2311 Racing. And this one purchase was a huge deal for Jordan, cause it made him the first I don't first even know how you NASCAR. could like watching NASCAR, dude. You're literally watching cars go in a circle for hours on end, bro. I ain't gonna watch NASCAR cause we have a life. Owner in I'm just kidding, that was a joke. Years. Don't come at but me, as NASCAR great as this fans, achievement right? was, just a joke. things got even Settle better down. for Jordan a it's year later, serious. when in 2021, during his team's first ever NASCAR Cup Series, 2311 managed to take home first place in the Yellowwood 500. And with the team this successful, the total value of 2311 racing comes out to over $25 million. Damn, a NASCAR Whoa. team, four clinics, a golf course. Milli? Clearly, Jordan's got a lot of business to attend to. And that's exactly why he went out oh, and spent even jet. more money on number yes, five. Yes, sir. No, if I became rich, this is the first thing that I'm buying is a private jet. All right, I can't fly commercial anymore. I can't do it. His very own Gotta buy custom these private Gulfstream jets, man. G550 private jet. This thing, thing is crazy. Is it can hold up to 16 passengers, has three living areas, Dude. two bathrooms, its own internet provider, and to top it all off, a few years after buying the jet, Jordan dropped over $350,000 on a custom paint elephant job, print Dude. paint job, bringing the total value of his G550 to $61,850,000. 61 million? Yeah, this man Jordan knows how to spend his money. Uh, at least that's what I thought. Because what he bought in number four will that's go crazy. down as the dumbest purchase in NBA history. See, back in 1991, Jordan decided to use some of his NBA money to build himself a mansion outside of Chicago. But he didn't build no ordinary mansion. No, Jordan built a 56,000 square foot mega mansion as a shrine for himself. I'm talking a handcrafted iron gate with the number 23 on it, custom cigar and poker room, an Air Jordan home theater. I mean, the man even built an NBA sized basketball court gym, with the Air Jordan logo on it. And when you add up all of Jordan's customizations, this entire Chicago mansion is worth $29 million. Now, a house worth 29 million sounds like a nice property to own, but putting that much money into a single home ended up being a huge mistake. Because by 2012, Jordan decided to put the property up for sale. And it turns out, only Michael Jordan would want a $29 million mansion dedicated to Michael Jordan. So despite lowering the price multiple times over the course of nine years, Jordan was never able to sell the property, dropping his value from 29 million all the way down to 4.7 million. So in 2021, 19 he was what you need 19 bathrooms for, man? Holy crap! I mean it. Right. Damn. Money mistakes are tough, man. If only Jordan knew That's about tough. the sponsor of this video, Current. He could have been right. $500 yeah. no, richer. I respect it, man, but we are not here for that. All right, let's see. Yeah. I think he'll be okay, because he also owns 
four more mega mansions, one in Utah, one in Florida, and two in North Carolina, bringing the total amount of money Jordan has spent on mansions to $63.1 million. But as crazy as that number Jordan, sounds, you could be a trillionaire, man, so if you would just save your money. Get even more stupidly expensive. Cause we gotta talk about Jordan's ultimate flex. His 80 foot convertible Viking fishing boat Does called the Catch 23, which would have spent over $8 million on. Eight mil for a damn fishing boat. And he didn't stop there, because Jordan decided to cop a yacht that makes the Catch 23 look like a paddle boat. A 230 foot bed ship super nah, yacht. Michael Jordan's called living Jordan, like he's living in a GTA five decks, 5. Seven cabins, a private office, a fully equipped gym, its own basketball court. I mean, uh, this yacht even comes with its own rescue boat and three speed boats. Yeah, uh, the boat has boats. And uh, the total cost of this colossal yacht comes out to a mil. whopping $80 million, dollars, making Jordan's entire fleet worth $88 million. That's God, crazy. Hey, that's an insane way to flex on people. But look, man, Jordan deserves it, especially after what he did in number two, because the amount of money Jordan donated to charity is literally more money than what he made in the NBA. Yeah. See, Jordan's first major donation came in 1993, when after the tragic passing of his father, Jordan decided to honor him by dropping $2 million to open the James R. Jordan Boys and Girls Club of Chicago. And uh, this was only the beginning of Jordan's charity work. Shout out to you, Jordan, that's years, sick, man. He went on to donate even more money. $2 million to Hurricane Florence rescue efforts, $5 million to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, $8.9 million to underprivileged kids in Chicago. I mean, Jordan's been handing out bags left and right. But his biggest donation came in 2020, when Jordan announced that he was personally donating $50 million to fight racial inequality. And when you add up all the donations Jordan's made mil? over the years, he's donated over $100 million to charity. 100 million. That is literally 6.3 million more than what he made in the NBA. Jesus, this man's a hero. And look, 100 million dollars is a ludicrous amount of money. But believe it or not, there's one final thing that Jordan owns. Number one, let's that's see. Worth even more. Something so valuable, it literally turned him into a billionaire. See, back in 2010, Jordan was looking for a Hornets, way to right? take his $500 million net worth to another level. I'm talking billionaire status. So, figuring he had to spend money to make money, Jordan made the biggest purchase of his entire life, buying his hometown NBA team, the Charlotte Hornets, yeah. for $175 million. Whew. Now, $175 million is a pretty hefty investment, but it ended up paying off big time for Jordan. Because over the next decade, the NBA's popularity exploded, making the value of teams across the league skyrocket, to the point where by 2021, Jordan's Hornets became his most prized possession, with the entire franchise being worth an incredible $1.5 billion, officially turning Jordan into a billionaire and easily making it the most stupidly expensive thing he owns. But you know it's not That's stupidly crazy. expensive at all? this video right here. Guys, what's the most expensive thing you own? Also, if you were to get rich tomorrow, what would you buy first? Let me know down in the comments below. Mine's gonna be a private jet. All right, I'm sick of that commercial life. All right, but if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below and we will catch you in the next one, guys. All right, peace.